I can invite Stephen Cardi for, from Focus on the Family, and he'll be praying for the family. Thank you for uh, arranging this today, John. It's a great privilege to be here. It's very hard to add to much to um, all the amazing things that have been invested in today. But you know, the Lord really is concerned about our families, and I want to speak um, just some of the things that I think that he has on his heart for each family. And I want to say a few things as if I was creating a world in the next 10 to 20 years in Ireland that will be what will materialize because I, I believe God wants to rescue us. And the home is where the heart is. And we want to feel at home at home, don't we? And we want to have a home where we're loved and where it's safe. And I'm praying for that. And I was, uh, these are my prayers really, what, what I'm saying. Is that our homes, not just our homes in this room or in the churches even, but in the nation, that men would be men of God and that women would be women of God and that children would be safe. Because that isn't always true. And that marriage would be held in high regard and valued. And as I was thinking about John's invitation to come today, I was thinking, well, how can this be accomplished? Jesus said in John chapter 7, if any man thirsts, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink, and I will give him rivers of living water, which will be in him a well. Imagine if fathers were like God, because God, when he disclosed his character for the very first time, Moses had been up the mountain seven times to meet with God, and on his eighth visit, God, for the first time, spoke about his character to him. And it's revealed to us in Exodus chapter 34. And it says, The Lord passed before him, that's before Moses, and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, and abounding in goodness and truth. Can you imagine if each home in Ireland had a father like that in it? You know, that's not beyond the bounds of possibility. That is, God wants to reconstruct in you and I his own image and his own nature and his own character. So when he's disclosed his character for the very first time to anybody in history, to Moses, and he described himself as merciful, gracious, long-suffering, abounding in goodness and truth. Lord, may it be, please stand with me, and I, I just want to pray this. Lord, may it be that the fathers in the nation would be awesome. Lord, that you would raise up homes that are full of grace and truth and long-suffering. And where the fathers are gracious and kind and merciful. Lord, let it be. Lord, may it be that our marriages are a source of inspiration and nurture and encouragement to our children. Lord, that they will look on our relationships and they will say, wow, because they see a father loving a mother and a mother loving a father. And Lord, where there's trauma and grief and trouble and, and discord and so on, Lord, that 
there will be a turning to you in the parts of the people in the nation. Lord, like has been prayed in so many things, and Angela prayed just before me, Lord, that, Lord, that throughout the land there would be a turning to you. That the people would understand who you are and that you would make yourself known both to the fathers and the mothers and the children, but also to their neighbors, their workplaces. Lord, there are places where they go and engage in life, Lord, I pray. May you be known throughout this nation, Lord, and in the bedrock of the nation, Lord, the, the family home. May it be a sacred place, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now we'll have... Just, sorry, just to mention, Ellen had said that uh, the march is on the, thir the 6th of March. It's actually the 6th of May. So please turn up for it. It matters. Politicians can count. And, and it matters that we turn up. Amen.